from all things at once without thinking twice. Oh my god. And I knew it would catch up and would that stop? we would be the ones. Both of you. Left behind. You don't need to be there. It's daytime. Go outside. You don't need to house and you don't need to fight over it. Never it. Seem to yes, that's what I oh, oh, what? <laughs> Duke, I swear you're just on this road that I am on. <laughs> I gotta stay here for some time. Rob have been working so good. We just have to turn him around because this is the part that is not so slippery. But it's been working good. The only thing is that they like to poop on it, so I have to constantly <laughs> be um, cleaning that. And there's a lot of new things happening, but one of them is getting the dogs out of here. <laughs> Somewhat soon. Now, for those of you who've been follow, following along my plans for this area, which is just uh, outside the buck pen, was initially planned for dogs and to make a little, not little, but smaller than the girls' pen for weaning. Now we got a couple of roofing structures and I'll show you when we go to the front. But the idea is to put one of those here, maybe two of them, as we divide this and create a new buck house for the boys as well. It will have a little side covered area so if it's raining and they wanna be outside, they can still be outside. And also, you know, when there are younger bugs and older bugs, if it's raining, they're gonna start to want to get cover. And if somebody's bullying somebody out of the house, they still have a porch area where they can hang out if they want to. So having multiple areas where they can be safe and away from the elements, I think is actually gonna work. Well, this, this is what I was talking about. This is the one that has that little, I guess, extension. And we can set some poles under there so that can be an outside part of their house. And then this, the main house. It was a project for a neighbor in college 10 years ago. So it needs some repairing and that's what we're planning to do. We don't want any leaks. But see, we got two. This would be perfect. This weekend, I <laughs> kind of tethered. You can see one of the stakes here that is now is loose, but I tethered them around here and they've been doing an amazing job. This is an area that we're trying to fill because it's very, very low. And we did fill in there, and as you can see, it doesn't get lots of water. But if you watch a few episodes ago, well, maybe around Christmas, you know that all this area was flooded. So we're starting to fill this in. This is the back house clean out, and it's starting to fill this in. We're trying to rearrange things, like getting rid of that, which is not getting rid of, but putting it with the building materials and starting to get things into shape because very, very soon, this is going to turn into another pen. And one that I feel like will have plenty of greens for the boys and that's gonna help when they have to stay in. Now, a lot of people wonder about the tethering. I shared a video. And that people wonder about, you know, why I don't let them just run around. And the problem is, I have one part of my garden that is not fenced in, and they would love to eat all my flowers and azaleas, which are bad for goats. And then we don't have the entire property fenced in. 
so we do get dog visitors every once in a while and so when we're not here they're in their pens that's why we need a spacious you know pens for them and um, we need them to have some greens uh, so they can eat it if they're going to stay inside their pen the goats have been enjoying the pasture we do have a lot of weeds and they love it this I don't even know what the name is I'm sure you guys that are smarter than me can tell me what it is but Clara loves all those weeds weeds there are some they're all red well she loves this for sure and that and there's one that has some red in it that I'm pretty sure she has cleared out tell people all the time how um, they need minerals for their weathers and their bugs and <laughs> you know some people to them is like big news but look at that <laughs> every other day I refill it and they know that they need it so they go for it my plan for this summer is to get all the boys put them outside every single day if I'm here which more and more I'm gonna spend more and more time at home because of all the plans that we are kind of setting in motion a lot of people think that it's very uh, easy or fast to get things done but when you're doing your own back and when you're using your hands as tools it does take some time so for somebody else who has equipment, maybe they'd be able to do it. There's like all kinds of weird noises back in the woods. And I'm always looking because you'd be amazed in all the kind of things you can find here. The ones that we already took from that big pile. We're taking the outside part of it and we're taking the bark, recycling it from my garden and organizing it here where we're gonna come with a chainsaw and make them into donuts so <laughs> this is what we haven't gone through but as you can see it's really a lot of work and the burning has been a non-stop thing since friday until really monday early monday morning here. well anyways if you have the equipment you can get things done but in another video I'm gonna show you on what we started to work in and share with you a little bit more about my drama remember I mentioned that I was having some problems getting plans approved to develop the property our plans for putting a house to put in a shop a barn and all those things that were kind of stuck in limbo well we got a response back we got some of the paperwork done and now it's time to get things in motion because even though the house is now going to be start to be built right this second the area where the house is gonna have go it's gonna have to be clean and ready to start foundations and stuff like that and same thing is for the shop so lots of news that I will be sharing on that video that talks more about the developing of the homestead developing of a farm building a home and all those things that i've been hinting here and there but not really talk too much about them now this is what their house looks like right now i put lime underneath and some pine shavings on top i decided to put a little rock over there hi I think I think I missed the, the the opportunity of name him Mike Tyson. I swear every time, and I didn't film the whole thing because I had to put up that mineral feeder. I was telling my husband how the boys have been amazing at not messing with the, their mineral feeder. I was telling him how amazing it is that they didn't figure out how to break it yet and. <laughs> no sooner I say that that they break it that night so I have to put that 
with screws. And um, I did the top three ones and the top bottom ones, which is what I didn't do initially because there's not much wood there. Now this is all gonna change. You will see, I'll show you later. But I kneeled down to do that. My little Romeo <laughs> there, who thinks he's my boyfriend, starts the kissing game. Uh, you know how they start kissing the side of the dough? before they start making babies well he likes to give me kisses in the face as I am doing something and you know that right after that he'll go drink pee so it's not my favorite thing to do so but <laughs> I didn't film it because of that because I have to be on like okay Rocky leave me alone okay Rocky leave me alone uh, and um, that's basically why and then <laughs> I was trying to put a rock there and the water our little friend who I missed my opportunity to name Mike Tyson uh, likes to chew on my ear now it's not hard it's not like a nervous thing like he does with other things but he likes to bite the lobe of my ear and <laughs> mostly like kind of lick it which is kind of gross so yeah, it's, it's almost impossible to keep this camera on when Mike Tyson is trying to be himself chewing other people's ears. He chews um, Rockies and um, Dukes too. Oh, you're so, you're so itchy, my boy. So itchy, my boy. This tree is long from our own trees. And so we might, I don't think it's long enough though for putting it here, like cutting in half and put it here with the roof going down this way. Not sure, but you know, just look at it and think this is gonna be, this is gonna be Part of the milking room and I am going to put some stuff outside to cover it and make it look pretty or maybe even just getting rid of those rips that the goats did and stain it but little by little this is gonna start to shape up and before you know it we'll have a milking space 